Hey everybody, this is your girl S.A.O. Furay and we are here in New Orleans and let me tell you something, this city, this culture, it finds a way of bringing some amazing people together, especially during Essence Festival and I am here with Hype Hair Magazine owner Leah Jones and when I tell you, I have been waiting to meet this woman. Oh, I love it. Yes, you know, I have been waiting to meet her just because of her history, um, what she does in her city of LA, her and her ownership as an entrepreneur, real estate and a mother. You're a mogul, you do so much and it just continues to motivate other young women or older women or any woman out there who's a go-getter and wants thank to handle you. her business. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm excited to be here. Like the backdrop is New Orleans, but this is a vibe here. Like I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. Listen, we got a nice little hook up here, honey. We got do it right for you that's how it works like this, is, this is better than any place i've been in new orleans this is comfortable i love it here thank you so much yeah. see how that works out here at inspire we like to encourage motivate and be comfortable cool calm and collect that's how it goes then we're here for essence festival mm -hmm. i actually attended uh your event which was a collaboration with african pride i'm still recovering a little bit african pride is actually hype here's brand partner media partner so we uh we did the rooftop. Yes, and you did it with Trina too. How about that? With Trina, with our subscribers, with our fan base, it was just like the perfect backdrop of Essence Fest for me. I feel like we pulled it off. No, it definitely went well because one of the things here is there's so many people here, there's so many activities, but it drew the right crowd. It mm -hmm. drew Trina supporters. Mm -hmm. It drew your supporters, people who actually, you know, have history reading the brand and knowing about it. Mm -hmm. So how did that feel, you know, just seeing the energy from the people and how the event turned out? You know what's so funny? When I'm in work mode, sometimes it's hard for me to get like a bird's eye view of how it is. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to be more present at mm -hmm. events like this. So I took a step back a couple of times and just kind of watched the dynamic of the room mm -hmm. and it was exciting for me yeah it was exciting to see trina perform and to see everyone's energy go from here to there when she walked in the room mm -hmm. it was just great but the biggest thing is that we were able to amplify the fillet formula with african pride and that's really like the true reason why we were here the fillet formula is a new line from african pride it really helps girls take care of their hair underneath right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we wear hair different ways but the truth is we need to take care of our natural hair and that's what the fillet formula is yeah. and it's definitely amazing that you mentioned that because you know you see our hair here my hair in particular I, love your hair. I definitely do use those products so it was really interesting i was like oh my god mm -hmm. you know the collaboration of that type of stature i was like that's really big but again it's hype hair so yeah. those are only type of expectations speaking of that how has it been since you took over this brand it's been since 2021 and your entrepreneurism this is nothing new to you to like run something and mm -hmm. hold it down mm -hmm. and do what you got to do tell us a little bit about that you know what but hype hair is so different so i've ran companies before i've ran beauty brands before but hype hair is so unique because black women are not like a monolith you know what i mean like mm -hmm. we're totally different like even just watching that event. There were so many girls, there were braids there, there were locks mm -hmm. there. There were So we have to speak to all women, mm -hmm. right? And so just kind of having an authentic voice, I say this all the time, Hype Hair has always had the authoritative voice mm -hmm. in here, but making sure that voice stays authentic mm -hmm. has been my like biggest work. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been fun, but it's also been a push to make sure that we're creative and inclusive mm -hmm. and making sure we're just not being one way mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah so, definitely yeah it's been good it's been fun but it's it's been a mission wow <laughs> and i mean that's that's a huge thing to take on like mm -hmm. honestly but again you have the background, you handle it with style and grace. Tell us a little bit about your previous entrepreneurship and your beauty stores that you do own, because plural, okay, stores, yeah, plural. plural. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm a retailer, what it boils down to, and I'm a black girl from Inglewood, and I have this thing where I would go into beauty supply stores and I never saw girls that looked like me. Mm -hmm. and I was fascinated by that from like an economics um, standpoint, but also from just like, how does this work mm -hmm. in my neighborhood? That it's all my friends in here, it's all black girls on the products, mm -hmm. but there's no black people behind the counter. So that mm -hmm. caused me to like really push the envelope, do a lot of research, and I started a beauty supply store chain. And part of what that is is I was able to build economic freedom for myself. Mm -hmm. And after I was able to do that, I empowered other women to do it. Mm -hmm. So two of our stores are franchises. They're women, they're families that kind of got into this business, and we're, we're learning it together 10 wow. years later. That sounds extremely intentional mm -hmm. um, and yes. from the heart. And what's deep to me is, you know, it wasn't about you. It was about your community. Correct. So you put your community first. Sure. You did something, and you made an impact. How, like, you know, that's not an easy process, right? Mm -hmm. So tell our audience a little bit about the grit, the grind, but then when you 
see the success and the smiles and the people literally you're helping other women do what you did yeah you know what it is it's a labor of love to be honest with you being a retailer is not easy mm -hmm. you have to deal with the customer perspective mm -hmm. but then i also have back of the house issues that people would never know about employee issues employee mm -hmm. theft marketing managing all of those things so you know it is a grind but i see it as a labor of love i feel like when people see what I've created in the Girl K LA mm -hmm. and the Hyper brands. Mm -hmm. um, it just empowers us. Mm -hmm. And black women, we should be more present in the beauty space. We're less than 2% of ownership mm -hmm. in the ethnic beauty space. Mm -hmm. It's a billion dollar industry. We buy we all need of it. To, yeah, <laughs> we need to have more of a footing in it. Mm -hmm. And that's a real thing. And that's really been my global mission mm -hmm. with working with the beauty brands that I have that, you know, like if we're the consumer, why are we not the retailer? Why are we not the distributor? Why mm -hmm. are we not you know the marketers we should be all of that mm -hmm. it's our stuff right it's and, for us and because we can do that it's attainable it's possible it's just a matter of the knowledge and your grit and mm -hmm. your push to want to do that and i feel all of that based on how you speak about you know what you've been through it's, mm -hmm. it's extremely important i think to everybody to understand that it's something that it's a special quality y'all it's something ah, it's a no, special quality to work is. with people and manage people mm -hmm. for sure <laughs> it, it is and you know i have my ups and my downs for sure i would be not being honest if I said like it was fun and inspiring and easy all the time it's not you know even now I'm dealing with some issues that I'm just like oh my god I want to throw in the towel sometimes mm -hmm. but I know that it's not about those moments it's mm -hmm. about the big picture wow yep you know what I kind of got goosebumps once you said that oh, because really? mm -hmm. no it's as me personally I, for me holding my brand being independent and mm -hmm. it's a hard and sometimes there's days you just want to give up you don't want to do it anymore mm -hmm. but then it's just some tinkle that gives you that push you know, to keep going. And we all come from different lives, different perspectives, but it's something right. similar about that push mm -hmm. when you want to give up. Yep. Um, can you tell us about maybe one moment that you felt that way, but what made you say, nah, I'm not going to do that? You know, and I hate to speak to this because I feel like I give that moment in my life too much power, but I went through a very like horrible divorce. I got out of abusive marriage, but I'm so grateful for that, mm -hmm. right? Because it really caused me to push myself to make sure that I stayed independent mm -hmm. as far as my creative ideas and the things that I owned. And, you know, being in a fight to, like, keep your stuff and your mm -hmm. assets makes you hungry in a different way. Mm -hmm. So when I speak about that, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't like to give power to that. But that's really something that has changed mm -hmm. how I move and how I navigate life and how I see other people and how I see myself, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I think that all people, not just women... Um, but I am speaking to black women. Mm -hmm. We need to be protective of the things that we build because what we build is valuable. Mm -hmm. Only we can do what we do. Mm -hmm. There is value in everything that we do. And we know that because we see people from outside of our race and outside of mm -hmm. our demographic mm -hmm. trying to replicate it. Mm -hmm. And it's not the same. Mm -hmm. So when you build it, protect it. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what I've really, 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 those moments when I'm like, I've literally had to fight for what I've built. Mm -hmm. That makes me just want it more. It yeah. just makes me want to you know what call the attorney let's lock it in because it's so valuable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so. i think that it's like like protect what we do protect because that's us right yeah. and that's mm -hmm. that self-love too honestly yeah. speaking exactly and, and i definitely appreciate that um mm -hmm. that's something that i'm going to definitely take to heart because i promise you there's days that it's so hard but you just got to sure. remember your reach, you know, remember your why, mm -hmm. you know, and I think your why, again, was for your community. Speaking about community, please tell us a little bit more about, you know, your initiatives mm -hmm. outside of, you know, Hyper and things like that. Right. So I have a foundation that's called Hyper Cares. Mm -hmm. um, we actually kicked it off at a gala we did with a 30 for 30 gala where we honored 30 beauty professionals. But part of what we did is we had people donate and we had contributors and sponsors and mm -hmm. we gave back to domestic violence because I think it's really important. Mm -hmm. Something that we walk around um, and we kind of ignore mm -hmm. and people have shame around it so they don't ask for help. Mm -hmm. And I say all the time, if I was a woman with all these amazing things that you just said about right. me and I felt disengaged and disempowered. Mm -hmm. Imagine how a woman feels that doesn't have all of that behind right. her. So I really, really, domestic violence is something that is so close to my heart. Mm -hmm. I was a teen mother also, so those are things that we make sure we give back to. Um, foster care agencies, mm -hmm. making sure that those teen moms, you know, sometimes we get caught up as a teen mother, mm -hmm. taking care of our kids mm -hmm. and our, our, what we have to do, we mm -hmm. don't take care of ourselves. So we make sure that we give back to organizations wow. that make mothers, teen moms, give back to themselves. 
from a beauty perspective because how you look is how you feel right, a lot right. of times, you know? So Ugh. all those things, those are the two that are closest to my heart because I've been there. Right. And I know what that feels like. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people, you know, can engage with that on our website. Mm-hmm. You'll see our initiatives on there. Yes. On the things that are close to our heart. And you'll see a lot of things that are going to be coming up closer to the holidays too. Mm-hmm. What we're doing. Because those are definitely important times of the year to get yeah, people, people when they're in their, you mm-hmm. know, that, that emotional aspect is definitely important. It's a important. vulnerable time yeah. for people. Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh. So, mm-hmm. so again, you know, what I I love you can be a boss yeah. you do what you got to do you mm-hmm. know real you, you got to make the money but you're yeah. giving back to the community and I think also it's something that's personal and that For takes sure. a certain like you know not everybody can go through something and want to put it out there to help others yeah you know what I'm saying and yeah. again that's also a superpower mm-hmm. because there's so many others that when they find out or hear about your story they're like wow right. so have you ever had that situation happen to you where Based on the foundation that you're doing now, a woman came up to you. She was like, oh, my God, listen, I'm so glad that I even came across this, and this is what changed my life. the time. I can't tell you. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm removing shame from it. Mm -hmm. I walked around. I didn't speak about it. But there's so many people that have come to me, not even women, men, business owners, and say, wow, I know that you fought this silent battle. Mm -hmm. And to see you kind of come out of it is so inspiring to me. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I know like what I went through and, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever that was, it was necessary Mm -hmm. for my journey. So I love when people come up to me and bring up what they've seen me go through, what they've seen the organization go through, Mm -hmm. Hyper, Mm -hmm. Hyper Cares, the Girl Cave, Mm -hmm. all of those things. It's, you know, say heavy is the... I always mess up. Yeah, my I know daughter's heavy, gonna laugh heavy at me. is the crown, or heavy, <laughs> heavy is, the, is the head that wears the, the crown. crown. Yes. yes, that's a true statement. <laughs> mm-hmm. To who much is given, much is required, and yes. I see myself as that vessel. Yes. So I don't take it lightly. I don't run from it. I don't have shame around it. I embrace mm-hmm. it. I know that that's what I had to go through, and I'm proud of it. Yes, powerful black woman. Yes. I, 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 I receive because mm-hmm. it's the truth. We all really have to like take some sort of stance within ourselves, and you know, it's nothing better than giving it's not about taking it's about giving it's and about you giving. truly represent that and i love that in Thank every you. aspect of listen if you google this woman look up her accolades look up the things that she's done like you can't help but want to be motivated to try to do something Thank good you. yourself here at inspire we love to be enlightening encouraging and you know i always love for everybody if there's some sort of like positive advice or some sort of gem that you can drop with our audience mm. what would it be well i think i kind of hinted about it earlier but mm-hmm. the far as protecting your brand mm-hmm. and protecting what you build mm-hmm. but that stems from you know that's just one part of it protect mm-hmm. yourself protect mm-hmm. your mental health mm-hmm. protect everything that is a part of you because really what but it boils down to if you don't protect it, mm-hmm. you'll lose it. Mm-hmm. So that's the biggest advice I can give. Build it, take care of it, mm-hmm. take care of yourself mm-hmm. in the process, and I feel like everything else will fall wow. together. I love that. Oh my God. See, I'm telling I receive, I hope you all receive. But here's one more thing that I know you did receive. Tell me. Um, you and Terrell went to um Rihanna's hair ah. lunch. <laughs> Okay, yes. when I saw that, I said, I we got to talk about that. I myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me tell you this. Yes. For three days, I didn't want to wash my hand mm-hmm. because she held my hand and she rubbed <laughs> it. So I was like, can I, I'm driving with one yes. hand. Don't touch this hand. Yes, that was such an amazing moment for me. Mm-hmm. And that, Rihanna gave me my flowers and for her mm-hmm. to even know who I was, mm-hmm. that blew my mind. Mm-hmm. She knew I was a part of Hype Hair, but when she found out I was the owner, she stopped everything. Mm-hmm. And she said, wait, a black woman owns Hype Hair? Yeah. I never knew. So to get that from Rihanna, yeah. when I tell you I'm on, I'm still on cloud now. As you should be. It was almost mm-hmm. two months ago and I'm still like, you know what? Rihanna would do this. Mm -hmm. I'm moving like Rihanna because Mm -hmm. she built something Mm -hmm. amazing. Yes. She's still building it. Yes. And it's it's continued to expand and grow. And that's like, it's simple. It looks simple, but it makes sense. It looks simple, but it's literally catering to her audience. She's so strategic. Her marketing, Mm -hmm. her just everything about it, I just love. And Mm -hmm. honestly, there's celebrities that people might consider bigger than Rihanna, but they're not more successful than her mm-hmm. because she's doing it authentically. Right. And I remember that when I do hype hair, it's authentic voices. Yes. It's not a voice. Yes. It's authentic. Oh so. my God. Like that was for yes. me when I saw that, I said, wow, I know I got to make sure I ask her about that Come because again, on. it's so, certain things when you're in the rooms, mm-hmm. right. That you deserve to be in mm-hmm. your flowers will be given to you. And the fact that you said that I felt that that had happened to you because she had to know who you were. I'm not trying to say like, I know, like I was in the room, like mm-hmm. I was Terrell, the brand manager that hooked yeah. up. You know what I mean? I'm not saying <laughs> that, but you just, it's, it's all about energy and yeah. you know, you give that energy. You Thank definitely you. deserve your flowers. You are doing what you need to do. You're making 
get yeah. people, women like me, people like our audience, want to yeah. be motivated, encouraged to just follow their dream, do what they got to do, and don't give up because it's not supposed to be easy because you're right. the one who's doing it. That's right. Yeah. Oh, On man. that note, period. Yes. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. See, I'm so excited I did this interview. I am S.A. Fourier for Inspired Magazine, and we're in the beautiful New Orleans. I I'm telling it. you, this is Leah Jones. I'm telling you, Google her. Email her. Tell her she's fabulous and give her her, her cookies, her kudos, all and all it. that good stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much no for having problem. me. No problem. Thank good. you.